GamblersAdvisory.com with some post-fight thoughts on Vladimir Klitschko's victory over Jean-Marc Mortemac. Let me just say, um, I thought it was an intriguing fight. Clearly, Vladimir Klitschko has the power, did the damage. Mormek seemed to be in over his head. But in that first round, for those of you who believe that Mike Tyson, prime Tyson, would beat Vladimir Klitschko, this first round is your exhibit A. Mormek, who isn't that fast afoot. I thought gets inside easily on Vladimir Klitschko. When he gets inside, he doesn't throw any punches. Klitschko hugs him. That's the pattern in the first round. Mormek gets inside, Klitschko hugs him. But make no mistake, if Mormek threw body punches when he got inside, in particular, Left hooks to the body, right? Because you want to disengage Klitschko's right hand. You want to make it painful later in the fight for Klitschko to throw the right. So you want to dig your left into his rib cage. All I could say is Klitschko was wide open for those short hooks. Mormack didn't have the skill level to throw them. People who know Mike Tyson, people who remember his reign know that Iron Mike would, right? Take a look at Mike Tyson against Brian Nielsen. That's not even prime Tyson, that's old Tyson. And he still had the balance and the punches inside. Let me also say this too. Klitschko ties up Mormack, leans on the back of his neck. You know, Mormack unfortunately isn't great at bending at the waist and moving his head. I think that one of the secrets to Mike Tyson in his prime was his ability to literally move his upper body so you couldn't just grab and lean on him and then to throw punches like uppercuts, which Mormack was unable to get off in this fight. Speaking of uppercuts, it's interesting that Mormack is trying to crowd Klitschko, but Klitschko himself never throws a devastating uppercut. You know, I thought that the performance, even though it goes down in the books as an early KO, I thought that the performance was haphazard by Vladimir Klitschko. He really did seem to be a bit lost when Klitsch, when um, Mormack crowded him. Of course, as the fight went along, Mormack couldn't maintain the intensity inside and started to drift outside where he got stopped. Right? My point to you is simply that Vladimir Klitschko did not look to me to be a guy who could deal with Mormack once Mormack got inside, right? Mormack, unfortunately, didn't know what to do once he got inside. All I'm saying is if you're judging Vladimir Klitschko by history, and I think that's what we have to do with the Klitschko brothers, right? They're so good that you can't even judge them on today's opponents. You have to judge them Historically, if you're judging Vladimir Klitschko, historically, all I could say is I don't believe he's as good inside as, let's say, Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson. I think Mike Tyson in particular, or Joe Fraser, would give him a whale of a time inside because once you get inside of Klitschko's ability to extend his arms, Klitschko has problems. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.